Welcome to NHL 22. Today we are going to learn three different wrist shot moves that will uh, help us improve our chances of scoring. And we will look at each one of these three moves in uh, detail. So let's get started here. Here we have a left-handed shooter and we would like to skate from right to left. Now if we go around the net, we'll be skating from left to right, so that won't work. We've got a little trick up our sleeves. We're going to bank it off the back of the net and reverse directions to create separation. We're going to hold down L1 and press in R2 for the Xbox, that's the left button, and the right trigger. And that's going to allow us to bank off the back of the net, which allows our player to change directions and catches the defender napping there. Now we need a speed boost to keep separation. We're going to press the left analog stick in like a button, L3. Gives ourselves some speed. But when we take the shot, we do not want to be skating fast because the buck's going to go all over the place. We want to have control. We're going to let go of the speed boost like we do right here. And then take the right analog stick, flick it up while taking the left analog stick and aiming for the top right corner. And we get a nice goal right there. Here we have a right-handed shooter, so skating from right to left is not going to work. What we're going to do instead is we are going to spin around using the left analog stick. One can also do that with the left trigger button or L2. So we're going to use the left analog stick and roll it around, get enough space there. I'm going to press in L3 to get a little small speed boost. And then once we get enough separation... What we're going to do is we're going to let off the speed boost, of course, so we can get a good shot in. We're going to take the right analog stick, fling it forward, and use the left analog stick to aim for the top left corner. And we get a nice cool right there. Here we have a right-handed shooter. That means to attempt a crossed eye shot, we want to go from left to right. So we're going to do a little deke here, and then we're going to spin around the circle with the left analog stick there. And then right about here, we're going to press an L3 to accelerate, use that speed boost. We're going to let off the speed boost right here. Push the right analog stick up, and the left analog stick is going to be aiming for the top left corner. And we get another nice cool right there. Now we're going to take a look at how to do some backhand forehand moves involving deeps. Here we have a left-handed shooter, Sidney Crosby. What we're going to do is we're going to do backhand and then fire the wrist shot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skate in there and then we're going to take the right analog stick and push it to the right. While using the left analog stick to skate around, we got to have just enough space to freeze the goalie, which we do right there. We get him froze and then we flick the right analog stick up for a nice goal right there. right-handed shooter right here. We are going to take the right analog stick and deke to the backhand or the left. And then we're going to take the left analog stick and roll it to the right. The goalie freezes and pulls out to try to stop. Now we flick the right analog stick up for a wrist shot and score a nice goal. Skating in with a right-handed shooter. We are going to take the right analog stick and move it to the left to deke backhand. We get just enough spacing there. Going to use the left analog stick and roll it to the right. And if you'll notice, well, you can't really notice from this angle right here, the goalie freezes and goes for it. And that's going to allow us the opportunity to flick the right analog stick forward right there for a nice goal. Now let's turn our attention to one-timers. We'll take a look at a couple examples of game situations as well as some tricks and practice of how to go about doing it. If you'll notice right here, we're skating in with number five. And essentially to set off a one-timer, you want to have an open shooter or a semi-open shooter. You want to hold down R2, pass the puck, and then flick the right analog stick up before the puck gets there as quickly as you can. And as we do right here, we're able to get off a nice shot for a goal. 
Again, in this example right here, we're skating behind the net, holding down R2, going to pass it out to an open shooter, flick the right analog stick up quickly, and get another nice one-timer right there. In this spot right here, we're skating and we notice number 12 is open. We're holding down R2 and we're going to let the pass fly and we're going to quickly flick the right analog stick up for a wrist shot. And we get a nice bounce right there for a beautiful goal. With one-timers, you typically want to create space. Although sometimes uh, there's some players that are strong enough to fight down below and get the pass. We're holding on R2. We're going to release it. And we're going to quickly flick the right analog stick up right there. We get the shot off. And there's a nice goal. The best way to practice one-timers is practice mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to more and then we are going to select training and practice. And then from there, we're going to go to team practice. Now the next part you can set up however you want. Typically you want to set up a practice with a one man or two man advantage or even three man advantage. Just so you can get a feel for how exactly it runs and that way you can practice passing the puck trying to find the open shooter looking for those one timers uh, but yeah one can set that up however they want and the idea is being able to get good at exploiting different types of situations and of course that is going to wrap this up As always, if one is looking for more tips on NHL 22, there is a playlist on this channel to make it easier to find. I will put a link in the description as well as a link in the comment section. Thanks for watching.